Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Wherever you're watching a joker from. Yes, so. Yes, yes, yes. Help us to share when you come in. Hmm. Me and my cup of tea. Yeah, join me. Let's have a chat. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Apple evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Please join me. Join a joke. Join a joke. Uh, invite, invite people, please. Invite people. We've got three topics to talk about today. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh, we're talking about um, being that woman, you know, not the second woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Judy Austin. <laughs> Judy Austin wants to be the second woman. It's not easy. Oh. It's not easy to go and dally mm. So, call everybody. Let's uh, rub minds and... Um, this is going to be an educative um, chat, something that we as Africans, you know, as women, as men, should talk together, come together and discuss. I've got three topics today. Like I said, you're all welcome on board to Prevailing Issues with Sajoke and your host is Sajoke. And if you're coming here for the first time on this platform, we talk about everything. We talk about politics, we talk about um, culture, we talk about marriages, we talk about homes, we talk about how to make things work out for us in the society. Now, this is a no bullying zone, not cussing zone. Yeah? If you come here, you are just here to enjoy yourself. You are very free to leave a comment, a constructive comment. No abuses on my platform. Thank you for adhering to instructions. Thank you. You're all welcome. And then as you come in and as we are doing the program, please, we have digital way of supporting this program by buying our stars. You'll see that there's a star button and then there's a subscription button where you can subscribe to this channel. Okay. And then for the star, you can buy our star, you know, just to promote us, to help the needy. We use the proceeds from the star to help people that's it in our country now let's go straight to the point the three topics i said we're going to be talking about number one is about the nollywood um saga the nollywood saga that is going on between joel edoshe and uh, edoshe and uh, may edoshe and judy hosting who are those people yes they are nollywood english stars you know um Joel Edoche is Pete Edoche's son. You know Pete Edoche, the man with that unique voice. You know, um, the one that did uh, Things Fall Apart. That's the father of uh, Joel Edoche. Very popular man, very good man. Everything that you can think of in that industry, they are very, very good. Now, the son too has taken after his father in that industry when it comes to um, acting and his unique voice. You understand, is 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 a Nollywood superstar, is a Nollywood lo, um um sweet arts. You understand? <laughs> uh, okay, you're welcome. I am near deep bright. So he's a Nollywood uh, sweet arts, and we all love him. Just like he's been married for the past, I think, 17 years or so. The first son is 17, so he must have been married maybe. 18 years ago or 19 or but his first son is 17 is in the university now the saga started some months when we started hearing rumor that you know um one of their uh the one of his um colleague in the industry in movie industry you know had a baby for him we've been hearing that rumor for a very long time you know flitching to us but nobody believed that until until, of course, the man came out himself and told the whole world that he had a baby with, um, he has a baby with uh, Judy Austin, one of the Nollywood actresses. So, 
this really broke everybody's ass because they've seen this man and his wife, the Judy, as um as a couple that has no fault. Just like most homes that you don't know people what they are going through. Why I'm talking about this, when you look at my topic, is about do you how as, as a woman, are you comfortable to be the second fiddle in a relationship, in any marriage? Maybe you want to go into a marriage and you feel, if you're comfortable to be the second fiddle, then, you know, it's, it's for you to decide. Now, I know a lot of women will say, or men, they will, quite, quite, they will come out now to say, women are so many out there and they need a place to go. They need a man in their life, in their lives. That's why most ladies do not mind now to be the second fiddle, third, fourth, fifth. <laughs> where they do not matter. Where you're seen as a spare parts. And that's why when you look at what I wrote there, I said, are you comfortable to be the second fiddle? A spare part in a relationship where the man you are there, when the original tire gets um tired you know they will not pick you up and they will use you are you comfortable as a woman like that now everybody has contained um his acts even his father his family were shocked because they felt it's from a very good home very good home giddy that you cannot even <laughs> fault you know so they were all surprised at that they have a child together already a boy and then why people are so mad at this relationship is the fact that they brought it out one thing disclaimer disclaimer everything we say on this program we saw it online so it's not as if people will go into people's homes to talk about their relationships if you do not come out to you know bring your relationship out Nobody will talk about it. I will not know what is going on in Joe's Edoche's home. So, yo, please don't be annoyed when we talk about your relationship because it's in that open uh, hall. You know what I mean? This is Judy. This is Judy, the first wife of Joe Edoche. See how pretty, beautiful she is. Let me see. Look at her. See your um, Ju Judy. Uh, sorry, not Judy. The, that, Judy posted this picture of her. This is uh, May Edoche. That's the beautiful first wife with four children. See how slim, beautiful she is. Now, I will show you the mistress because as far as people are concerned, they're still calling her the mistress because um, Judy Austin is still seen as a mistress. That's her. She's curvy. She's a curvy one, uh, but she's on the big side. Now, and I hope you know their husband. You know the, the, the main man is not, I won't, call, I won't say is their husband, no. Um, is married to Joan, uh, to um, Judy, uh, uh, sorry, to May. That's him. Look at the man there. So that, those are, look at the picture of one of their film together. They said um, they've been going out for the past six years that the wife did not know that um, her husband was seeing this mistress. You know, May is the first wife. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. May is the first wife. I showed you May now. She's the first wife. She's the pretty one. And then look at that is May. She is the first wife and the legal wife to that man. People are angry now because, of course, when this rumor came out, um, the husband came out to say, yes, you know, he has a boy with, um, with Judy Austin and that is taking her as a second wife. Polygamy in Africa, like we know, to us is no big deal because that is who we are in Africa. Eh, Olori, Olori, Olagundo, yes, yes, you're on free mode. Go on, write whatever, whatever you want to write, but please be constructive with your comments. Now, you know, uh, the man has come out to say he's a polygamist, that that is what he chose to be, you know. May is who we know, May is who we know, eh, fella, yes, everybody has been saying that. Now, 
Because of that, I think there was a problem between May and her husband and even everybody in the industry supported May to the extent that um, uh, AY, if AY, you know the AY, this comedian, all of them stood by her and gave her endorsements going on oh, because of that. What happened? Because she was already in a state of depression. She came out to say something like that. You understand? <laughs> she came out to say, yes, that she that depression is real. That who, who wears the crown knows where, you know. So, it, <laughs> you're funny. So, uh, depression is real. So, she was going through emotional trauma because of the fact that, you know, when your husband just comes publicly to the whole world to say he's taking a second wife and the second wife has a baby for him already. How do you feel as a woman? Now, to Judy Austin, she was having a field time at that time when the man has come out to announce to the whole world that she's number two. You know, you will see her all over the place, gallivanting, being happy and... The first wife may a home. You can imagine what she was going through at that point in time. Of course, we don't know what goes on in the house. The man may have been begging her to say, look, I just have to do it. It was a mistake or, you know, I don't even know how it happened or whatever. But she has refused to listen and said, no, I don't want second wife. That is what me and you, what we sign in our life. Uh -huh. Now... Me and you, only me and you, me and my husband, I will sign. So how come you can't bring this woman with get big and she began to pass me on own? You can't bring and call meet me for house. This one even passed me. If you look at the two of them, say we go you go look, say will be yale, will be yahoo. So it was a hard decision that um I think it was difficult for the man himself to take. But he took the bold step and came out to tell the whole world that you know he's taking her as a second wife. Problem started, everybody hated him. The internet went wild on that at that month. Everybody were just like, ah, how can you do this to this woman? She's so quiet that you know May is the best woman you can think of. You know, you no, no scandals, nothing, and you've been having a very good uh, home. You have a very perfect home with four lovely children. So why would you, you have boys, you have girls? So what are you looking for? I, I think they have only one girl or so. They are side chicken. Ah, hey. I know I fella said Judy Austin is a side chicken. Okay, so she's a side chicken. Now, now we are getting there. So we thought she's a wife, maybe because the husband came out to say he's taking her as a second wife. But you know, they've been side chicken for the past six years. You can imagine how devastated May was when she heard about it. That how dear, how come she wasn't aware of the relationship for a very long time? as they've been, you know, sleeping with each other and nobody knew that was going on. Now, you know, the wife felt betrayed and she came out, went out with, you know, other people, not boys who, you understand, went out, my lady is too much, you know, she went out with the industry boys and girls, they stood by her to ensure that, you know, um, she doesn't go through what can kill her. You know, as in, you understand. So, um, long story short, May was having a field time, like I said. They took the child home to Grandpa Pete Edoshi. <laughs> they took him home to Pete Edoshi just to ensure, to say, Dura Melissa, Alexander, how are you? You're welcome. I almost sat like town. Yeah, they took him home to ensure, to, to assure May and to assure Judy that she's been accepted as a wife. So everybody felt, in fact, when we watched the little child, you know, innocent child that just came to the world, uh, everybody was like, oh God, why, why, why would he, Baba even allow um, Peter Doshi, why would he, you know, embrace the child? But you know, African parents, there is no way there is no way, Nigerian parents, there is no way your child will have a child outside, your son will have a child outside, and you will say, you will did you, pata pata, ah, it's very difficult. So, but he it, it said, Pete Edosha himself said, he doesn't believe in polygamy, so I, he doesn't know where his son is getting that idea from. So, he is not part of it. Now, 
Long story short, this thing has made me and um, Judy feel that she's in charge. You know, she has, she's in already. Do you understand that she's been accepted? <laughs> Linda, a woman said, Pepe go soon enter that Judy eyes. Ah! <laughs> Judy, they said Pepe go soon enter your eyes. Don't be me talking about my, my dad, nah, them guy time. Oh. <laughs> so, Judy, Judy has been parading herself as a second wife on the internet. So, the estate that may have a part, a birthday, you know, birthday, May's birthday was on the 16th of September or something. She posted me on her page and say happy birthday queen you know just to give you the impression that she's been accepted meanwhile may no look aside may no accept them as a second wife problem has been happening in the home of course it has you know divided the wife and the husband and even the children that you know the man has been trying as much as possible to ensure that to to, to, to assure the whole world to assure us Nigerians that is still very much in charge of this home. Now, um, it's been out. I think it went out for a very long time. It didn't come back home or something. You know, it was with Judy and uh, Judy was so happy about it. You know the way side chickens feel now that, yeah, I have a man. It's mine. You know? Well, I still ask you a question. You as a woman, are you comfortable being the second fiddle? How do you feel? Now, let's go to where we are going. For May's birthday, May had a um, uh, uh, charity, you know, um, organized for, for, for her birthday to give out to the needy. And everybody was surprised when her husband showed up. He showed up at the, um, at the birthday giveaway to the community. He was there to support his first wife, Me Educhi, the holy wife, Me Educhi. And this really got Judy mad again. I was like taking down this again. Because peradventure, she had thought that, you know, now that they have brought home the child, she's the second wife. And because they've been having problems, the man stays more in a house than going home. Because, of course, there's a problem at home. A problem caused by yourself. What's that? A problem caused by yourself and the man. Okay? So, she's, she was having the field day until this day when this man went to support his wife at this occasion. That's, that's the husband and that's the wife there. People were surprised to see him there. And even he, he, he made mention of something that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. That he has come back to realize his mistakes. Um, this is a man that has been coming out for some time now to speak about polygamy and why he did it. Before this last one that broke the camel that, that one i'll tell you what broke the camel's uh, way to hey hey so this man now has been coming out to tell the whole world to keep quiet and let him handle his own he said okay let's listen to this this is one of the things he said you know about oh, so, people talking about him uh, i actually have a lot of a lot of things to say mm -hmm. um, there's a whole lot going on that a lot of people don't, don't know about. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? A whole lot. And uh, <clears throat> I, I feel it's, With this I feel it's necessary for me to bring you guys up to speed 
bring us to speed. A lot of things because well, usually, usually things happen mm. and um, people just get to um, people get to say or, or get to speak about things that they they actually know you know virtually nothing about. All right, and uh, it, it's not it's not really it's not really the best because a lot of things going on. Behind the scenes. Like I said, people have been bashing him, bashing Judy, you know, online. And Judy has said they are cyberbullying her and all that. So this man has come out to say, we, the online in-laws, we don't know that a lot of things are going on behind. Things that we don't know. And why he took the second wife? A whole lot that a lot of people don't know about. When that happens, when that happens, you find out that you just, um, <clears throat> you, you'll be doing a lot of judgment, mm. you know, you'll, you'll be doing a lot of judgment without actually knowing uh, what's going on, without actually knowing the real uh, reason behind certain things, behind certain, certain decisions. Of course, truth be told, when it comes to relationship Husband and wife living together for years. We presume, we assume out there that the marriage is perfect. A lot of marriages are being patched up for years. I will not deny that fact. That he might be having issues with his wife. Before meeting um, Judy, it might be that it was Judy that consoled him, that comforted him, that gave him the crying shoulders as at that time. We cannot judge. Danny, hear me welcome. We cannot judge. And that's why he has come out to tell us something. So, let's listen to him. As you come, please help us to buy stars to promote us. Thank you. You know, you have a lot of people talking, but you see, <clears throat> Excuse me, what I want to say, what I want to say is actually very important, very, very important. I know it's going to uh, open the eyes of so many people to um, things that are happening. It will reveal a lot, believe me, it will reveal a lot. And it's going to also let people know certain uh, stuff about me. That, uh, that they didn't really know about, they didn't really know about before, all right? So I, I had a lot of time to, I had a lot of time to think about this and decide if it's really, really the best uh, decision to take. And, you know, I know a lot of people are going to criticize it. A lot of people will say what I'm doing is wrong. A lot of people might say it's right. But... Honestly, it's the it's the best thing to do. It's the best thing to do in a situation when things are happening. You don't just uh, <coughs> you don't just keep quiet because when you keep quiet, um, when you keep quiet, people tend to misunderstand you. People tend to uh, speak their own. You know, speak for you. You, you know you what? Know. You know what? When when you can see that all is talking, is just saying, repeating himself. You don't know what I'm going through, or we don't know what goes on between us. You don't know what's going on, uh, you know, behind the scene, all that. He has not really told us why he's taking the second wife. He owns us no no explanation anyway. If he doesn't want to do it, you understand. So, but. You know, co coming out to say, you know what, it's a long story, a lot of and all that, and giving us that beautiful voice of his to cajole us. It's what we don't want. Eh? You, okay. Uh, you're the one speaking. So, uh, what I want to say is very important. Like I said, it's going to open a lot of eyes. It's going to make a lot of people realize uh, the true situation of things and, you know, see things with a better perspective. All right? So, <clears throat> here it is. This is the truth. This is what I want to say, and I want everyone to I think it's that what I was listen just... and hear me yeah. out. Actually, I decided to do this video because 
I yeah, that just one want to test. test. That's it. This one was the one when he was just, he was trying to say things as at that time, but he didn't know how to handle it. He didn't know how to, to let the whole world know that, you know, I'm taking a wife because of this. So that one is just, uh, uh, I'm trying to cajole. And he came out some days ago to say that, you know, he's taking that, he never knew, he said something. He said, I never knew a man can love two women. He said, I never knew. I thought it was impossible for a man to love two women. But now I just realized that there was no way I could have managed it. I'm in love with two women. What can I do? So he came out publicly to acknowledge the fact that Tope, TJ, you're welcome. He came out publicly to acknowledge the fact that he's in love with the two women. After going to support his wife for that, Omalala, welcome, auntie. To support his wife for the charity. Do you know why he came out? Everybody believed that it was Judy, the side chicken, that pushed him out, the baby mama. Because everybody, you know, they were laughing at her. Ah, thank God, you know, Jules is back to his wife. They are back together. You could see the bond again and the happiness in the home is back. And then, everybody believed that, you know, he was pushed out to talk about having love for the two women equally how can you love two women equally he said he loves them equally now after he did that video two three days ago god bless me god bless me let me see no no this is not the, the one i'm talking about sorry god bless me men came out not because not because you have come to support me and I'm trying to patch my marriage. I'm live already. You, I'm Juvia, it was new. Sorry, I'm... sorry, sorry, my dear. Y'all felt, you know, betrayed that because you've come to support me and we are trying to patch up. I saw a few comments. At... Some people saying, um, look at me. Um, While she was. Me is using this to cash out and all of that. And I'm like, okay. It's fine. Hmm. It's fine. I'm cashing out, right? I don't wish this upon my enemy, if at all I have any. I don't think I have enemies, but if at all I have any, I do not wish this upon them. You know, depression is real. And there are different stages of depression. Hmm. You know, for me, Rather than dwell in depression, I chose to, I decided to pick up the pieces of a beautiful world that I had, a very beautiful world. And I Did you hear that? A very beautiful world that I had. A very beautiful world that I had. At this point, she was going through depression because of a sudden outbreak given to her by her husband. How many women can do what some of our men do to us? How possible for you to wake up in the morning and say to your husband, I'm taking another husband tomorrow? What can you do? See, you can imagine what painful experience she had as at that time coupled with the fact that this judy is somebody that's so bold that she will come out and make it look as if and so f works do you get me so this is like you are you are eating my banana and you're telling me what can i do you can imagine you know you're stealing my joy and you're telling me what can i do you're taking away my joy from me in front of me and you're standing by, by it and saying, yes, I am doing it. Do your worst. It was as bad as that when this thing broke, that, broke up. You can hear her statements. People were saying she was catching out 
because people were now using her for adverts, they were using her for endorsement, they were calling her for everything. People now said, yes, yeah, she's catching out now. And she said, I do not wish this to even my enemy. That's if I have any. Because the passion is what is real. I had to pick up my beautiful life that I had. Please, can you listen to that? Amazing one that suddenly shattered, that suddenly crushed. I decided to pick up the pieces and try to move on rather than dwell in depression. It's not been easy. It's not been easy. I'm glad that I look happy. Um, I, 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 I appear strong to you all. I'm glad that I'm happy, really. I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm able to to go out there and do stuff. In fact, I'm even amazed. I'm surprised at some of the things I do, you know. But it's all because of the love. I'm telling you, it's the support. It's the support for my family. It's the support from you guys. You guys have been amazing. The love is massive. These are the things that have kept me going, hmm. honestly speaking. Some people say I inspire them. Some people say I motivate them. But the truth is, it's you guys that have inspired me, you know, because I didn't see all of this coming. I didn't see all of this coming. Like I said, so many, many people are, are not as... Like I said, did you hear that? She said she didn't see this coming. She didn't know her husband was sleeping, had a, a, a permanent side chicken. A permanent one, permanent that is like this on his neck. She had a beautiful home. A perfect marriage. Until this happened. All of a sudden, Judy came out to say, yes, I am his wife too. Not only you. And we are going to stay there together. Now, because of the fact that the husband, you know, came out publicly to acknowledge the fact that, you know, my wife is still my wife, you know, uh, nothing will destroy this marriage. I'm back home to my wife. You could see Judy coming out. After that, for the past four or five days, she's been coming out and be doing nonsense. Like, like, like somebody who is possessed. You understand? Now, the wife felt betrayed because while the husband came out again to say, you know, I'm a polygamist and this is what I want for myself. Joel came out, I mean, to say, yes, he's a polygamist. He's ready for it. He has taken that step. This is what he wants and nobody can stop him. Julie felt betrayed again that i thought we are we are out of this i thought everything was going to be something that we can handle together and build our home back i thought we could build our home back do you understand judy said look at her just one day ago, this is where I'm going now. I will read it to everyone. I don't have my glasses here. I should have taken my glasses. Judy wrote out. She said, The ability to accept or tolerate challenges and problems in life is a virtue and should not be misconstrued. There is no point making an already bad situation worse. Hence, the need to remain calm and crucial. Remember, I said few days ago, this Yul was the one that went to support his wife and told the whole world that what God has joined together, no man can put asunder. This is a man that stood by his wife on, his birth, on her birthday to give her support. But after that, he went out after three days or four days to yarn rubbish about polygamy because, of course, he's been pushed out by the woman out there, according to people's belief. Now, 
May came out yesterday to say, now enough is enough. I think we're getting somewhere. Now it seems you are bent on marrying this girl. Definitely, there is a talk going behind, begging going behind, and she's saying, I do not subscribe to polygamy. It's not my own way. It can be your own way of life. I am not subscribing to it. I'm not accepting her, and I don't want it. You can say she said, hey, she said, there is no point making an already bad situation, a situation that's already bad, you are now making it worse by coming out to talk about this. Fola Deji, according to actress Uche Odbodo, you has been having an affair with Judy about six years. That's what I'm saying, that they've been having affairs about six years and nobody knew. She went on. She said, I understand that we all have our weaknesses and limitations as human. I personally believe everyone deserves an opportunity to make things right when they stray. Forgiveness is divine. She's sending a strong message here if you don't know. She's saying, I know there is no perfect human being. I know a man can make mistakes out there. This is deep. She's sending a message to you. Yo, I know you might have made that mistake of sleeping with this woman for six years behind my back. I know you had a relationship with her. I know you had a baby with her. There is nobody that cannot make such a mistake. Now, I thought I could forgive you. Forgiveness is divine. I thought I can just overlook it. You have strayed already. We were married, legally married, spiritually married, emotionally married. You have not come to the whole world to tell us that me has done anything to you, yo. Nobody can say precisely. Let me drink what uh, let me drink my tea. Bye, mister. Bye, mister. Let me drink my tea. Why you buy mister? Thank you. You know, there is no way, there is no way y'all has come out. To say anything bad about his wife that the wife did to him. All he said was that he never knew he could be in love with two women. That he got himself involved in another relationship and got, you know, trapped. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, you know it. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. So he got trapped there in the relationship. What we all, human, we don't know is the fact that. When a man and a woman are in relationship, when a man cheats on his wife out there or a woman cheats on her husband out there, and you see this cheating partner often, there are some men that they have a permanent girlfriend that they were not intending to marry in the first place. They were not intending to have a child with. But because it was a place of solace for them anytime they close from work or they have somewhere to just relax and then they go there every day when they close from work. I'm just giving you a scenario. You go there every day when you close from work. Since men are becoming athletes, so <laughs> our culture allows so much rubbish. You are right, Amolola Adewale. So, you go to this woman every day. Men, come and hear. Oh. Come, let's, let's talk. You are having an affair out there. You have a permanent girlfriend. You don't know the risk in having a permanent one. I will tell you the risk now. This is a young lady that got, you know, that you started dating as a sugar daddy or as a lover. And you see her every day after closing from work. You are with her. You close at 6. You go straight to there. Before you get home, it's around 10 or 11 before you see your wife. Even when you get home, all you do is just eat and go to bed. You will have had your sex out there with your girlfriend. You will have had every good time with the girl out there. On weekends, on Saturday, you are with your family in the morning. At 12, you carry your bag. You are with... Your eh, they said Judy has uh, 
had as two ex husband I didn't know. Ah, hey, check my Judy Tindi. Hey, Judy had two husband has two ex. Ah, I want this. It's Lego. Now let's let's go on with the scenario. On weekends, on Saturday, you have been sleeping since morning. You know you used yourself all over the week. You have been walking and going to that girl every day, and then, um, in the in the in the uh, on Saturday, for you to be at home with the family, after waking up at around twelve, you eat and you just tell your wife, "Look, I have to be with the boys." It's a lie. You are going to that girl's place again. The attachment builds up. The emotional attachment builds up the moment you start seeing yourselves often. That's why the smart ones will not see their side chase every now and then. You're building a relationship if you don't know. The girl becomes so attached to you because she knows that every day, ah, if she doesn't see you one day, she becomes worried. You can say that it's not her fault. You are building attachment with her emotionally. So at the end of the day, you yourself, if you have not seen her in a day, you are not your normal self. Because for the past two, three years, you have been doing this. Maybe in a week, you don't see her maybe twice or, and it could be family commitments. You have a party with your wife or, you know, you get attached to yourselves. You can, you can confirm it as a woman or a man here. Yeah. Once you're seeing yourselves all the time, you get attached to yourselves. And then at the end of the day, anything can happen. And then you're the man that sees a girl every time. You are denying her the opportunity to meet others. You are denying her that freedom to have other affairs out there. But you are telling her, I don't want marriage to. I just want us to be enjoying ourselves. So. Mumi Ahava said, she has been snatching people's husband a long time ago. Did you not get, did you not see the stepdaughter when she came out for her? I didn't say that. Wow. So it's her way. Ah. You could even see that, you know, she's that you. Ah, she's Kala. Ah, she's... Did you not see her? Uh -huh. She's going to pack. She not a care. She's going to pack it. She and um, Patebo are friends. Now, let's go with our uh, scenario. Now, the man, you know, you are denying this girl the opportunity to meet others out there. She's developing a relationship with you. You are telling her, I don't want a baby. Oh. I don't want to marry you. I'm happy with my wife. Oh, I'm just, we are just having a good time. Oh, the woman will tell you, the lady will tell you, of course. Me too. I don't want, do you think I want marriage? I don't want marriage. We are just having a nice time. But don't forget, you have built an emotional relationship. Don't forget, you have denied her the opportunity to meet others out there. Who, who are ready to marry her. And then, you're going to her all the time. You're meeting her family members. She's introducing you to all her friends. Her, her mother knows you as her boyfriend. Her father knows you as her boyfriend. <laughs> and you're saying you don't want commitment. Oh boy, you don't get commitment to. You must know marry me. Because you have built it over time you don't know. You have built it. I'm not blaming the man alone. Did you hear me? Oh. By the way, no blame the man alone. That's what I'm telling you. you. We are still saying the same thing. You understand? You're building it. The lady herself, too. Tell me any woman that doesn't want a place. What are you talking about? A woman will lie to you. You are meeting somebody, a lady of 34, 45. She has no child. And you are telling her you don't want to marry her. You just want to keep her as a, as a friend. And you are seeing her every day. You have not allowed her to mix with any other person. And you are saying you don't want to marry her. And you think she will not lie to you that don't worry, I don't want her. Don't worry, we are together like this. 
Don't worry that. Me too, I'm not looking for husband. She's lying to you. She's trying to trap you with pregnancy. Because if you're at 35, okay, let's go on. Let's read uh, Miss um, Long Letter, open letter to her husband. Let's start all over again, and I won't stop. The ability to accept or tolerate challenges and problems in life is a virtue and should not be misconstrued. There is no point making an already bad situation worse. Hence, the need to remain calm and crucial. Uh, to remain calm is crucial. I understand that we all have our weaknesses and limitations as human, and I personally believe everyone deserves an opportunity to make things right when they stray. Forgiveness is divine. Beyond all the unnecessary faculties, polygamy is a life choice and no one should be compelled to accept it. It is something I think all parties involved should embrace willingly. And it's okay for anyone who chooses it. And it's okay for anyone who chooses it. Some religion, stroke traditions, allow polygamy. And I, have, and I have nothing against it. However, I am in capital letter absolutely certain that I will not be in capital letter numbered as a wife or be cajoled to accept a practice that does not align with my faith and family values. God bless you. Mama May said, in as much as she understands that some religion, some faith, some culture allows polygamy. You know the husband has come out publicly to say he's a polygamist. Meanwhile, he's still begging the wife in the household. Now, she came out to say it now. Yeah, I know polygamy can be accepted anywhere they want it to be accepted. But for me, my religion, my faith, my family values do not support it. I'm sorry. And I cannot be cajoled. I like this gay. I like you where well, you well. I find gay. I cannot be cajoled to accept what does not align to my faith. So whatever you're saying out there, being a polygamist or whatever, you and your side chicken can go ahead and be married. I'll tell you a story after this. She said, God blessed me with a happy Blessed, she used blessed, blessed with the E, D. That's past tense. God blessed me with a happy, with a happy, peaceful and lovely family. In a beautifully and in capital letter, jointly built mansion. In a capital letter, let me read. <laughs> I like the stone where this girl is true. <laughs> hey, we online in love, we help you people. Hmm. God blessed me with a happy that before before I was blessed with a good home. Before before. She wrote this yesterday. God blessed me with a happy, peaceful, and lovely family in a beautiful and capital letter in a big word jointly built mansion that started from little or nothing humble beginning are they shake humble beginnings what more could I have been asking for I had a stable and loving home prior to the unprecedented event regarding my marriage. 
Ah! Kesumi yo! I like this lady yo! She throw away stone oh. She said, if you don't understand what she meant by that, let me uh, um, scatter the English for us. May talk and say, before, before, before her husband go carry him quick, go commit suicide outside. Mm. May say, before her husband carry him, kini, kini, go do an outside with side chicken. With the same as Syria husband's stature. She said she had a perfect marriage. Not only perfect marriage, you, that she had a home which was jointly built. A mansion, big house, where me and you, we would build together with our money. We started from nothing. We don't get anything at all. Y'all and in wife. Then get nothing. Now short nika, the boy they wear. Now short nika, the girl they wear. Two of them come so far, build the house. Now so she talk her here. She said, we had nothing. From humble beginning, person we don't get anything at all. Two of us now, I'm going to Your papa, where they at? No, be say money day in hand. Me say, now so we come start together. Come build house. Come build big mansion. Where that boy go there that day. You see, uh, your dad did the talk. Say, oh, I remember when he came to this house. When we got to this uh, place, this place was like a forest. And then we made it here. So it was jointly built by them. Now, she did to waste stone to Judy Austin. Say, Judy. Be like, say this boy, they like to you, say, I ain't build this house. That's why they open your high one day here. She said, No, be you, no, be you, get the house, so, so then build them to get down. So, if like, say this girl, get, get paper for hand. She no be mumu, where be say she go, they put money down. She no go write her own name there somewhere. I guess she has something to show for it. Now, let us sit down with. She said, Make you no thing say, uh, now you'll get the house so see they both built the house together most of you out there most of you side chickens i want to tell you something we've got good news for you you don't know what the man is doing at home <laughs> you don't know that you're second fiddle you don't know if the worst come to the worst the wife will choose his, uh, the man will choose his wife and children over you. You don't know. Second fiddle. You go, you go, go that sniper. Because this one, now, she has come out boldly to let the whole world know what we never knew. That that house belongs to the two of them. And they built it together. They built a beautiful home together. Now, Judy Austin has come to destroy that home. To destroy that relationship. Because by force, by force, they must to marry her. To be second wife. And may say, she no one do two wives. Remember the case of Messi Aigbe we talked about? Believe me. Messi was ready to do the second wife, Abby. But the first wife said, no, I don't want it. I'm not cut out for it. Even though the man is a Muslim woman. That one is even different though. But it's, it's somebody's choice. If I feel I cannot take it, I'll walk away. So she walked away. Who threw that red head? Is it because I said Messiah Igbe? She must say Igbe no snatch a uh, uh, friend husband. Ni. Stop pressing red bread though. Messi, stop it. Messi, I will stop it. Sure, you know, snatch that, that man for me, wife. Me. Stop it now. What's wrong with you? And she was your friend. That's why me, I don't like that idea. She was your friend. Uh, Adika's wife was your friend, Messi. So, let's go on. Mm -hmm. Life is made up of an infinite amount of choices. Most decisions might be tough to make, but... Whenever we confront our options with courage, ah, at that point, girl, and confidence, God bless you. 
we should equally be open to the path of our own design. I believe that we are solely responsible for our choices and we have to accept the consequences of every deed, words, and thoughts that comes with it in our lifetime. She's a side chico because she's been around the block with her balloon. Hmm. Now, she said, with a full chest, with a full chest, uh, Thomas, go, go, George, you said if that woman was in Nigeria, it wouldn't have been easier for uh, Mercy. Yes, yes, you're right. Now, with her full chest, she said she's taking any decision she's taking. She's ready for the consequences. No matter what. And the man, she's sending a message to you, you. She said you should be ready for the consequences. Which includes you moving out from that home. Because you cannot bring your side chick into that house. No, Judy, you cannot go to their house. Oh. It is May sweat is there. Oh. You cannot go there because if you go there, that's all they will chop you. Oh. No go there. And they advise you as you get to get, get to get, 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 you know. May is not making uh, May, May is not leaving the house. No, she's not leaving the house for 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 you. Never. She's not. She's indirectly telling you. You will move away from this house. You can move and move to your baby mama's place. But she's not coming here. This is my sweat. We built it together. We suffered together. We had a beautiful relationship together. We had beautiful children together. But for now, you have to stand your decision that you have taken to be a polygamist to come out to the old world to tell them that, look, there is no going back and marrying this girl. Now, you have told me to my face that there's nothing I can do. Let me start charging so that, um, you know, let me charge, let me charge, let me charge, let me charge, let me charge. You have told me, you have told the whole world that there's nothing I can do, that you have to marry her. That's what it means. So, your decision is right. Yeah, you're right to your decision and you should be ready for the consequences of that decision you've taken. Which might include you destroying the relationship between you and your children because of a woman. You have very beautiful children, Jean Edouche. Now, let's read on because after the read on, we'll now talk. You can make a call in. I have the number pinned down. Um, it might be the only topic I treat in this, and I'll come back because I don't want to mix the other topic with this. Um, you can call me on that number. Please, can somebody just pin that number out for me? And I might just continue. It depends. I just don't want a long um, whatever. We should understand that taking life-changing decision hastily is not the best. <laughs> She's telling you, honestly, I think May is just a wonderful woman who still loves her husband, who still loves her home. But it's unfortunate that her husband has come out to disgrace her, as far as I'm concerned. Coming out to announce your baby mama, coming out to talk about polygamy, when you and your wife has not, you know, concluded on that, or where your wife has told you she doesn't want it. Is either I leave or you leave because the way it is now, Joel, you are leaving. Because if it's your decision, and she's just advising you as the wife that you had. She looks too desperate at being my she. You know, as a wife that you had, as a mother that you had, look at the sentence I'm using now. Past you, hmm. as a wife you had, as a mother you had, as a best friend you had, as a girlfriend you had, as with everything, you know, you are losing her. Hastily, a decision that you are taking because of God. One day thing, is it a city now? A city now? Did they give you the other now? Eh? 
Oh boy, ah, you know how funny you. <laughs> you know how funny you do to me, I tell you, oh boy. Ah, you don't lose this baby. The baby go make her. Now, we should understand that taking life changing decisions easily is not the best. God, in His infinite mercy, fixes things in His own time. I show. He will definitely answer all our prayers. Thank you all for your continuous prayers, love, and support. May God bless you abundantly. It's still my best month. Queen May Yul Educhi. Bow, 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 bow. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Darling me, darling me, darling me. Word on marble. Word on marble. You are indeed a woman of virtual class. Beautiful inside out, dignity, respect, impeccable, and definitely more than a queen. Ah, I personally applaud you too. You are a woman. You understand? You've given yourself that class. You've given yourself, you know, the respect, you know, that every woman deserves. You have come out to let the whole world know today, now, that your husband wants to take that decision, not because you've done anything. Because um, you cannot come out to tell us that this woman did anything to, to him. He has not for once come out to let us know what she has done to deserve this from, from him. To deserve taking a second wife, to deserve coming out, to make that noise, to deserve bringing the child home, to deserve all the disrespect she got from you. But one thing I want you to know, yo, Edoche, in as much as Nigerians love you, they love you, Ah, everybody loves you, you know that now, because of your father, your father has been a very, very good man, not because of you, no, you're living on your father's legacy, you're living on your father's legacy, all the love that everybody had for your dad is what they're transferring to you. But it seems you are you 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 are you're throwing it away. You don't know, sir. You're throwing it away. Always making unnecessary videos and all that. But I want to tell you something. That's um, my advice to you. Is that do not lose this home. You can still reconsider. You can still reconsider and look inwardly. Do not take a decision that you regret forever in later life. Do not take a hasty decision that you regret ever. There are some decisions we make in life that when later in life, you start sitting down and think, oh, why did I, why did I do it in the first place? Why? Why did I do it in the first place? This is one of the decisions you're taking. Taking a second wife when your wife has told you plainly that she does not accept this. You, Ledoshe, you have brilliant children. Your first son is in the university. I mean, your first child, I don't know if it's a son or a girl or a boy, is in the university. And not none of us, you know, have the right to tell you what to do. Because you are in the ship. And you're the one sailing. We are not there with you. But it's just advice from people like me. I don't want you losing those children. Because of a woman. I don't want you losing your children because of that woman. I don't want you losing a home you've built for over years because of a woman. Everyone has condemned your acts. There is no one person. There is no one person 
even in the movie industry, that said what you have done is good. You see, make up your mind. Judy Austin shares notes. Can you imagine? It's like she's the one pushing you. Do you understand? People are even attacking some of the people, your industry, that have been, you know, that have not been truthful about this. Look at one of your children. See how brilliant, <laughs> lovely that child is. Do you want to lose this child because of a woman? You want to lose this relationship because of a woman? Mommy told you my favorite food is plantain. Yes. <laughs> What's your own favorite food? My favorite food is rice. Rice? Rice. You like rice. What kind of rice? Rice and stew. Rice and stew? Yes. So that's your favorite food. Oh, okay. You like that? That's one of your children from your beautiful wife. You don't want to lose that relationship. You have been cheating on your wife for the past six years that she, did, she never knew. It's been confirmed by all of most of the, the people in the industry. Your wife never knew anything. You know? Look at look at see how beautiful your wife and child is. Look at Do you want to lose this beautiful woman and 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 a love for you and for the children? You want to lose them because of a woman? I was just giving you one child. Hmm? Oh. Look at the beautiful family you had. She has, she has, she has opened up to you that you're going to lose this family. You're going to lose this family, this lovely family. Your career is at stake. Look at her. See what Judy said. Look at Judy Johnson, uh, Austin. She said, I'm a lion. I remain Yul Edoshe's wife. I'm a lion. I remain Yul Edoshe's Anyways, um, it's unfortunate that, you know, uh, we will still, you know, this is the, the same people who are telling me marriage may not monitor their house and go to their phone and now blaming me. You know what? The funniest thing, you know, people are now blaming Joel, um, blaming um, May that she's not been checking on her husband's phone. That's why if she had checked on the phone, she would have seen a lot. That because for the past six years they've been going out. Of course, we are the one advocating for a woman to stop checking phones. We will say, ah, hmm, just be careful. So maybe, probably, if she has been checking his phone, maybe she will have seen it. We don't even know what to do again as women. If we check their phones, they will say we are checking phones. If we don't, they will say we don't. Look at this one now. The same people who are telling married women not to monitor their husband or go through their phones are now blaming May Yule Edoshi for not knowing her husband was cheating with a second wife for the past six years before he went ahead to marry her. Can you imagine? If she has been monitoring him, they will have blamed her for not trusting her husband. What people would have said she put him to date another woman for six years with her suspicion. She did, she did none of this and still, at the end of the day, the man still married the girl. I have said it before, now Mumu, they take marital advice from stranger people, men. Women, trust your instincts. If you suspect anything going on, please fight and nip it in the bud before it escalates. If they call you a bad wife for monitoring your husband or giving him water water, so be it. Somebody go to it so it become a soul. It's better to lose your marriage to violence than to peace.
peace and calmness in marriages makes most, most men cheat carelessly. If you they give them violence from time to time, it will cheat with respect. Not be saying, no go cheat. Oh. Never trust any man, no matter how faithful they pretend to be. They only want to get your trust so that when you let down your guards, they will strike without suspecting because they already brainwashed you into believing they are faithful. Be wise, women. Advice. Oh. <laughs> Imagine a married man dating a single lady for a whole six years. Who does that? And the wife didn't know. People have opined in different ways, you know, that uh, maybe if John, uh, if May was monitoring him, he wouldn't have gone that far. I have somebody very close to me, very, very close to me, that the same thing happened to. He has been dating this lady, somebody close to his family, close to his wife, Somebody the wife can call a sister. Somebody that sleeps in their house. Somebody that the wife took as a sister. Area sister. My abugu, my blood. Somebody the wife was looking for a job for. Somebody the wife was trying to get a husband for. And he was sleeping with her for years. Hola papi, you're welcome. And he was sleeping with this girl for years. People suspected. They told the wife. The mother-in-law suspected of late memory. May your soul rest in peace. They suspected the wife. Everybody knew. Except the wife. They called the wife to other. Told her. That look. Your, wife, your husband is sleeping with this girl. What out? She never believed. Because just like that person was, her husband has cajoled her to the point that she believes he's not doing it. She believes anything from the man because of the love, because of the trust, because of we are Christians, because of we are Catholics, because of his, his father never married two wives. <laughs> she never for once checked her husband's phone. This man dated this girl for over 10 years. And now they have a child together. The mother is late. The sisters were disappointed. Because they told her she did not believe. She called her mother a liar. She called her siblings liars. All because of trust. Who does that? People blamed her. Because how dare you will not even give her that benefit of doubt. Somebody is telling you, people are telling you, this thing is happening. Look inwardly. Shake a bit, babe. But you trusted your husband than your siblings and your mother. All because you wanted to keep a home. Sometimes we women, we are the architects of our own misfortunes, sorry to say. To me, she allowed it. Because me, me as for me, when they tell me my man is doing this. I want to look into it in a way that you will not even know that I will come out like this and I will finish him. With my silence, I will finish him. With my shout, I will finish him. With my grace, I will finish him. The posh side of me, the posh side of me is thus. But I ask, I ask, Baje, ah, Omomoras. Sometimes, Men take us for granted. They feel there's nowhere you can go. I tell you something. This person that I say is close to my heart is heartbroken. 
And the man, as heartless as he is, has not realized he has done anything bad. He has not realized the fact that he has broken somebody's ass. You have lovely children. You have broken their hearts. You have a child out of your wedlock now. And you are bent on marrying the lady. And still keeping your home. Who does that? Who does it? No. Is it that? Now the wife is saying, is it that you choose me or you choose her? And he's saying, you can do whatever you want. Poor woman. Because she's over 50, like somebody told me the other time. She can't go anywhere, Abby. She's 55. She can't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to shock you. <laughs> wow! How heartless can some men be? Forget about the girl. You've been sleeping with the girl for the past 10 years. What do you expect from her? Do you understand? Okay. It is well. Back to you, Jolie Doshe. I hope you will not lose your children. The children's trust, the love they had for you. Because children tend to, to hold on so much when you hurt their mom.